If your skin no full, no poor body, this is Odarako Sunday, Lagos Central 3 Money Book Officer. So um, today I'll be putting you on a tutorial on how you can make use of your uh, POS Terminal, either the 3D300, the H9 Pro, P8 Terminal or the Topwise. So depending on the one you have, you can watch this tutorial, all the features are the same, there's no difference between the features. So you can watch this tutorial and learn how to make use of your POS terminal and you will really enjoy Money Point POS because Money Point is simply the best. Ride along with me. Today I want to put you on a quick tutorial on how you can make use of your POS terminal, how you can do your transfer, do your transaction, check your history. Ride along with me. Um, so first of all, be, when, once you get your new terminal, make sure it's connected to internet. You can put your SIM card. If you check our our POS, you can uh, get where you can put the SIM card from the back of the terminal. So there is it. So once you do it, or you connect your hotspot, just on the hotspot on your phone, come to these settings, go to Wi-Fi and connect your hotspot. So once you connect your hotspot, make sure um, there's internet on your phone. So once you uh, connect it, you go open the Money Point app immediately to open like this. So the account number that you are seeing here is the account number you have to give to your business. Business people. So whenever they want to make transfer for you, to you, um, you give them the account number displayed on the POS. So once you give it to them, they send money to you. Uh, you you either tap the account number, you come to pending. Any transaction that they do to do for you, it will appear in this pending. Any transfer you receive to appear in on this pending, you either accept it or you 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 reject it. So depending on you, you either accept it or you reject it. So uh, it will, um why the company made it like this is that for security purposes, any money that does not belong to you that you receive. You immediately decline it it will return the back to the account it is coming from so now you clear uh, you have any transfer that you have accepted it to show here then uh decline anyone you decline to show here so now next once a customer want to withdraw maybe they want to make a withdrawal any amount you click on purchase on some terminal uh, as an agent you will see withdrawal so once you click on purchase or withdraw anyone you put in the amount you want to withdraw let's say 1000 you click on done then you click next so this it will ask you that you should insert your card so this is the card i insert the card so now um you click on uh default so you can either choose service current or default then you put your pin then you click send you can see it is loading it has gone like this so now if uh, if you withdraw money and it shows decline don't give the customer your money your goods or your money if you withdraw any money and it shows decline hope you are hearing me don't give them your money or your goods they should go report to their bank. It is their bank network, not from money point. So even though they, they, they debit the customer and the show decline, the money is not with money point. They should report to their bank to make complaint. So now you dismiss. Then if you want to send money to someone, let's say you want to send money to someone, then you click on transfer. You put in the amount you want to transfer. Let's say like 1,000. Then uh recipient account number the account number of the person you want to send it to so let's say i want to send it to my okay let me say i want to say to my pump to my other bank so this is my account number for my other bank then you come up you click on see all hope you are seeing it then you come up you search for it 
now this account is a uh, palm pay so you have to click on see all don't forget you click see all then you search for other bank hope you are saying it to show my name the name of the person always confirm the name of the person before you make transfer call it out for the customer tell the customer that, that is this your name sunday tochuku is it the name you want to send it to the customer will tell you yes then you come up you click on continue now that four pin that you created when you were setting up your account that four pin that is what you are going to put it that is your pos pin so that four pin belongs to only you don't allow anybody to see it even your money point agent should not know that four pin the pin it is for you and you alone unless you, you you decide to disclose it to anyone but the pin is for you if someone knows the pin they might withdraw your money so now i want to put my pin then submit you see after you put your pin it goes successful sometimes you might withdraw you might do transfer and it will write pending Make sure you collect your money from the person that is depositing, you know, and make sure if it is from withdrawal, make sure you withdraw your money. That pending might be that person's bank does not have network. The person's bank does not have network, so um um it will show pending. Then once their network is okay, it will either run successful or it will decline. So you have to wait to see the final answer before you take the next action. So that's it. Now the card transfer um my advice to my agent that using the card transfer just do withdraw and you deposit so purchase and you transfer because sometimes it might uh, you might have issue on debiting the customer and uh, maybe the pay the customer card might have issue or or the rest so once the the, the, the thing shows the client they debit the customer the customer will see the money has left and it has gone so it might be um, an issue. So first of all, you withdraw and you transfer. So now airtime. In case you want to say airtime, this is it. You put in the amount of airtime you want to send. You choose the network. You put in put in the phone number, and you click continue. You put your four pin and you send. So that's it. Now data. If you want to sell data, you put in the phone number you want to sell to. You put in the phone number you want to sell to. It will load. Then it is like this. This is my number. Uh, you put in. Uh, you select the network. It will show you MTN. You proceed. You select the package. Either daily, weekly, or monthly. If it is like monthly, you come to monthly and you select monthly package. Select the one you want to select to show this blue around it. You scroll down and click next. You see, you enter your pin. They that four pin, that your money point four pin. That's what you are going to put here. So now you go back. Now, um, if you want to do uh, bill payment, either uh, Nepa Bill, Go TV betting platform or any the uh, betting platform you want to do to you click on biller you can see here let's say for instance uh, in my area we use ikeja electricity distribution you click on ikeja so it will ask you if it is prepaid prepaid is prepaid is rechargeable ones postpaid is the one that uh, is not rechargeable the one that has account number that you just do it directly direct so anyone you click on prepaid you select products select it again put the amount you want to pay put the meter number the customer name the email address and the phone number and you continue it will go instantly so if it is go tv once you click on the biller you go down so you can see it's dstv go tv start time so let's say for instance uh, dstv you select the package the one the customer wants there are different package different plans that they want so you select the one they want if it's a compact show you 19,000 you put the smart card number uh you put the customer name email address phone number don't forget you will charge the customer for um um 
recharging their go tv so any amount you see there you can add 100 naira as your charges so that's it so now uh okay sorry uh also betting platform like bet niger bet king one is bet all of them you can do it even your wayek jump and uh, your show max all of them you can do it from this place is it is it not wonderful so now um now this pos transfer is still the same thing when you click this account you see this then once you click go to the pos transfer it's still the same thing where you will approve your pending accept and also so any money is sent to you you also see it. so once you come to this pos transfer you always see it so now if the customer want to check their balance before they withdraw um you click on this place maybe they'll be they'll be like oh customer i want to check my balance before i withdraw this that and that so uh you come to this place and you click on the vault uh once you click on it to ask you to put the customer card then once you put the customer card okay and also you can also tap the card if you are using it you can also tap the card hope you are seeing it the one tap is also working so in the case in the case where you want to uh check your balance you click the vote to you see you are seeing insert card or you tap the card so from here now you just put tap your card on top sorry show zero So this is it. The the place that the sign this sign is, that's where you tap it. So you tap the card and uh you put your pin. So once you put your pin, let me say it will show your balance. Hope you are seeing it. It will show your balance immediately. You can start to print it or not. So now, um, coming up here, we are moving further. This place, accounts. This is where you check your account balance, your money points account balance to know how much you are having. So once you click on accounts, you come to business accounts. You can see business account, you can see promotional account. This promotional account is where you check your promo. The promo for your business, this is where you check your promo. Any promo money point is given to you. Yes, sir view promo this is where you see any promo balance then uh, if you want to check your account balance you click on business account view business account view account statements so it is view business it will show you your balance the balance you are having then if you come on view account statements you can see it to show you all the transactions you have done how you are being charged how your money is moving out and everything so this is where you see it statement so now that is it for the balance now if you want to um check all the transactions you have done at the end of the day you click on history you click on local history here you can see all the transactions you have done throughout the day you can see everything the one that failed the one that was successful all of them you will see it in this place you always see it here this is it hope you are seeing it then now uh maybe when you did that transaction and uh, um um the customer did not um uh maybe the customer um uh, you do not print receipt for the customer you can select it out that particular transaction and you print you scroll down and you print put your pin and you print receipts hope you can see it the receipt will come out immediately the receipt will come out immediately um okay that's where you see it now this one is for dispute uh, disputes in case you have any dispute it will always show you here then uh, this one is for to request information anything that you have requested it will show you um this network hope you can see it this network that's where you check the bank sources rate as you can see now all this one on yellow their network is not that strong it's just coming up 
The ones on red, they don't have network at all. Don't try to do trial tri for them. If you check here, you will see MasterCard, Visa, Valve, and Deposit. MasterCard, Visa, Valve, and Deposit. Hope you are seeing it. So, like now, this uh, Unity Bank, their MasterCard, there is no network for their MasterCard. No network for their MasterCard. Their uh, Visa card, not available. Their um, Valve. They have network their deposit they have network you can also see it for other bank Wema bank you can see it their valve card they have the master card there's network their visa card no network their valve card there is network their deposit there's no so if someone use Wema bank visa card and come to withdraw from your place they might debit that customer and to write to write the client on your pos the money will not come to you so the person will need to go to his bank. But if person brings Wema Bank, um, um, Mastercard to withdraw or Valve card to withdraw, it will go because the Master and Valve, uh, the Mastercard and the uh, Valve card there's network. So you can see first bank, their Master is okay. Their Visa and Master and the Valve is shaking, still coming up and the rest so that's it that's how you monitor you can see fcmb their mastercard is not okay so anyone on, on red or yellow watch out for them this same for airtime you can see nine mobile on the top so that's it can also see kano electricity big payment is low so that's it now every morning before you uh, start your transaction please go to admin once you go to admin you click on synchronize if you have synchronized download key okay always download your key every month that all the transaction will be free your network will go very well the pos will function very well so always download key and once in a while once uh, so that is it uh, for this for this tutorial and once in a while always go to go to app store always go to app store to update your app so once you go to app store once you go to app store you sorry go up to app store you click on money point if there's an update you always see the update there so that is it for the tutorial i wish you good luck and uh I pray your business will go very well and you receive lots of love, a lot of money and also make much profit. Thank you so much. I remain Ogarako Sunday to Chuku.